This organization fights for underdogs, and we deal with a lot of cases where corporations or governments have abused people, have used their power um, to, to harm people in really serious ways. My name is Francisco Castaneda. My name is from Salvador. Late in 2005, Francisco Castaneda was taken into California state custody on a drug charge, and he was there for about four months. He was then transferred to federal immigration detention and was held there for about 11 months. During the 15 months that he was in federal and state custody, he complained about a lesion that he had on his penis that was getting increasingly painful and growing in size. And he was seen by numerous medical professionals while he was in custody, all of whom said that he urgently needed a biopsy to rule out penile cancer. But in the 15 months that he was in custody, he never got that biopsy. So when he was finally released from federal custody, he got the biopsy on his own, but it was too late. The cancer had already spread, and physicians tried desperately to save his life by amputating his penis and giving him chemotherapy. But within a year of that treatment, he died. The federal district court judge said that the medical treatment that Francisco received transcended negligence by miles and was beyond cruel and unusual punishment. He put a face on the deplorable treatment that immigration detainees were receiving. And as a result of that, the uh, Washington Post and 60 Minutes did a joint investigative piece on detention in America. The detainee health care policies were changed. The federal government actually changed detainee health care so that it would now apply to urgent medical needs and not just emergency care. 